So what I'm gonna do is initially gonna block that incoming blow. I'm gonna illuminate my flashlight. I'm gonna fire up my flashlight and I'm gonna stick it in his eye. I'm gonna smack him in the face. I'm gonna shoot from here, bang, bang. I'm gonna direct these shots low. All right, and then I'm gonna create distance. I'm gonna move obliquely, put more light on him and finish the fight. When I teach this technique to new shooters, initially we do this with blue guns, inert training pistols, till we have all the footwork down. When I'm confident they, they've got this without putting themselves or me in danger, then we go ballistic. All right, let's try this hot and see what it might look like. All right, so I'm here, I'm looking around, I block, light to the face, couple shots. All right, I create distance, I move on a slight oblique angle, Get out of Dodge City, I've finished the fight. All right, that's one of many applications, okay, using a hands apart technique, uh, which, which I think is superior in many situations to a hands together technique. Hands apart techniques were great from about this distance, perhaps only about five, six, seven, eight yards easily, okay? A squared away shooter can move back even beyond that. Uh, beyond 10 yards, I do believe it'd be best to get two hands on the gun. 